Welcome to the Next Level Selling Podcast, where your host, Michael Paul, teaches you the concepts of high performance selling and going from good to great in your sales game. Whether you're just getting started or have been pursuing sales greatness for years, this podcast will help you maximize your income while having fun along the way. Are you ready to take this thing to the top? Let's go. Now, here's your host of the Next Level Selling Podcast, Michael Paul. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Michael here, Next Level Selling and Next Level Selling. Hope you're having a great day. Do me a favor. Just do me a quick favor. If you like my podcast at all, if anybody's listening to this anywhere around the world, I think it is because I think we're now in over 34 countries. So listen, you, the person right now hearing the sound of my voice, I love you. I do. I really do. So I don't mean that in a weird way either, but you know, I do, I appreciate you listening to me right now. So do me a favor, go on uh, you know, Apple podcast or Google podcast, wherever you're listening, please leave a review. If you like me, if you don't like me, then just kind of fade away. But otherwise, seriously, if you like the podcast, please uh, leave a review, tell somebody about it. It's how it gets out there and lets other people know, you know, that I'm putting this information out there. And again, I really do hope and pray that it's helping you know, you out and anybody else that might be listening to the sound of my voice. That's all I'm really doing this for is to really help you live a better life and to take your selling to the next level. If you haven't figured out by now, I'm really into mindset. I'm into mindset. There's tons of sales trainers and God bless them all. I love them all. I think, you know, sales training is paramount because selling is a skill. I say that all the time, you know, um, it's always going to be debated whether you're a natural born salesperson. And I believe there are some people that are, but regardless, you got to follow a process. You need to learn skills. You need to learn communication. You need to understand personality types. There's a lot more to it than just being like, uh, man, that dude, Mike, he sure can talk. He's got the gift of gab. That is not really what makes a salesperson. Is it helpful? Of course it is. If you, you know, but then again, I've, uh, I've been around people that can just run their mouth and, you know, you're like, how fast can I get away from this person? Hopefully that's not you. So today, though, I just want to give you a few quick things that, uh, you know, stuff you've probably heard of. If you've been selling more than, I don't know, a month, you know this kind of stuff. But let's just talk about what are called modern sales closing techniques. And, you know, they're really all very good closing techniques because I don't believe there's any one way to just shove somebody into a product. I don't really believe in that. I think you have to, you know, do a great job of understanding what the customer needs and what they want and trying to, to fix those problems, if you will. And if you can fix those problems and you can fulfill their need, you probably have a sell as long as they have the means to buy. So, one way of closing or what's is what's called a question close, a question close and question close is really or nothing more than than simply asking more questions, probing questions. But you can't really ask probing questions unless you did a really good job of doing discovery with your customer. So you have question closes, you have assumptive closes. Now, I am really a big time assumptive closer because I just always assume my prospect is buying. I just assume that if they're in front of me, if they're talking to me, if they're, and, and I'm telling them about my product and they have an interest in it, I just assume that, that they're going to buy the product. And ladies and gentlemen, the assumptive close is the one technique that really draws on the power of positive thinking. And if you don't have positive thinking, you might want to rethink your career. Because if you're going to sell, if you're going to be in front of people, you have to be positive. You need to speak loudly. You got, you know, not crazy. Don't be yelling in people's ears, but I'm saying be heard, pick your voice up a little bit. It's kind of like being an actor. You know, you, you want to be yourself, but at the same time, tone and inflection in your voice and how you say things, it's got to be kind of dramatic. As a mentor told me years ago, uh, when I was doing a lot of public speaking, he said, you know, Mike, people don't come to hear what you have to say. And I said, what? That is ridiculous. Of course they come to hear what I have to say. He goes, no, 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 no. They come to experience what you have to say. That changed my life. And it, and it resonated with my soul because anytime I get in front of one person or 10 people, whatever it is I'm trying to do, if I'm trying to sell, if I'm trying to get someone to buy a product or a service or something that I am offering, then I always go back to remember these people aren't trying to just hear what I have to say. They're trying to experience what I have to say. And if they experience what I'm saying, 
then the chances of them buying goes up drastically. Remember, emotional attachment. When people start having an experience listening to what you are saying to them, they become more emotionally attached. So the assumptive close is what I live for. I worked with a sales guy years ago and he's a wonderful, wonderful person. And he comes to me one day and he says, I need your help on something, whatever. And, and he basically was having a pity party. Nah, they're not buying and blah, blah, blah. And all these excuses. And I just looked at him. I said, for once, could you just assume the sale? Just assume they're buying. And I promise you, I mean this. I swear this on my life. His sales turned around. I mean, he became the top salesperson in the company. He was number one. Nobody could beat him hands down. And months and months later, I sat down with him and I said, what changed? How, how did you do this drastic turnaround? And, you know, warms my heart, makes me feel really good. And, uh, but you know, he kind of gave me some credit. He said, you know, Mike, the day that you looked at me dead in my eye and simply said, could you just assume the sale is the day that I started assuming the sale. Think about that for a minute. Just assume positive thinking. Another modern closing uh, technique is takeaway closes. Takeaway. This really works well for, I know in the car business, you know, we spend so much time trying to give benefits and features and getting the customer to buy. Come on, you want it. You got, you know, you want this and it's what you got to have and it's awesome and it's shiny and it's pretty and it smells good and drives good and feels good and all this crap. And the customer keeps punching you between, uh, punching you between the eyes with, you know, their objections, why they don't want it. Sometimes just take it away. You know, if someone says, well, you know, I'm not really sure about the price. You know, I just typically say, well, you know, look, if it's not within your budget, if it's something you can't afford, that's okay. It's a polite jab. You have to be careful when you do that. You don't want to piss people off. You know, I don't believe in battling your prospect. I did a whole podcast on that. But at the same time, sometimes you just want to take it away. You'll be amazed when you take the product away from the customer saying like, you know what, maybe it's not for you. I get it. It's no big deal. All of a sudden they go, well, uh, of course it's for me. So takeaway closes, do some research, study that, learn some great takeaway closes, how it pertains to your industry and implement that. And then of course, the last thing, and everybody's heard of this, if you haven't and you're not using it, I am shocked. And that is soft closes. Everyone should be doing soft closing when you're doing something. Now, listen, I do a soft close right from the very beginning. I don't care what I'm doing. So again, let's talk about the car business. Someone comes in and sits down uh, within the first two minutes when I was selling cars, when I was on the floor and I'm actually, you know, rolling metal off the lot within minutes before I even know everything I need to know about my prospect. I'm simply saying stuff like, well, let me ask you a question, John, did you plan on writing me a check for your purchase today? Or did you want me to set up the financing for you? And they might go, well, Mike, I'm not sure I'm even buying today. I go, okay, no worries. Great, super. But if you were going to purchase today, how are you going to pay for your purchase? They go, well, I'm probably going to set up, you know, finance. And great, were you going to put 1500 to 2000 towards taxes and fees? And they go, well, I was probably going to put, you know, $1,000 towards it. Great, perfect, $1,000. And then I move on with my process. That's a soft close. That's telling me that they are in the back of their mind. They're buying. So soft close your prospect multiple times throughout the process. Again, I don't know what you're selling, but whatever your process is, you should know when you should soft close on your prospect. Look, if you want to get a hold of me, listen to the end of my podcast, my outro, it tells you how to get a hold of me. If you ever want to get on a coaching call with me, I'll be glad to coach you. 15, 20 minutes, we can chat for a few minutes and see what's going on there. And if we can do something else, then great. But do me a favor be a great salesperson, take care of your prospects, build value in what you're trying to do, be great. Don't be a sleazebag, be the best salesperson you can possibly be and I promise you, your income will go higher than you've ever expected. You will live a better life and if you're already making a good life, then make it a great life, all right? Take care of yourself, let's make it a great day. Thanks for listening to the Next Level Selling Podcast. Please be sure to subscribe and leave a review wherever you listen to your podcasts. And check us out online at facebook.com slash next level selling podcast. Are you ready to go to the next level? Michael is currently accepting applications for one-on-one -on -one clients looking to earn a lucrative and predictable income in their sales career through his proprietary mindset methods. Book your one-on-one -on -one power call today. Go to mynextlevelcall.com, choose a time that works for you, and book your time with Michael. And remember, we'll see you at the top.